Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie bit my finger instead. Morning, I'm out on the farm. It's a lovely Sunday morning. Um, looks like the jackdaws have all just uh, fledged. There's hundreds of them around the sheds uh, being fed by the parents. They seem to be a bit less wary, so Hopefully there's quite a few targets to be picked up. Um, I bought the rapid out with me for a, for a change. The 20 cal, the par 008 on top. Um, it's had a new barrel, Steve at HW100 tuning. Uh, very kindly machined me up a loaf of wall for blank in 20 cal um, to 19 inch. I was having issues with the old barrel. I think the choke was too tight on it. I'd keep getting flyers, tried everything. Um, the barrel seems to have sorted it. So, um, just shooting Bob on now. Um, very nice of him to machine it up for me. And then get it running. I've got the PAR 008 LRF, uh, which lets me do uh, quick estimations of distances around the sheds. Because they're all over the place at different distances. Uh, using JSB uh, heavies in 20 cal, 15.89 grade now excellent pellet and 20 cal really accurate um okay see how we get on uh, hopefully and bag a few because they're everywhere but the tractor's flying around they don't seem to be that bothered about me or the tractor so uh, hopefully the jackdaws are a bit less weary than the crows i might go down later and sit in the hedge but uh, the biggest issue is i'm around the shed so if i can hover around here and keep them out and take a few out then uh doing the job for the farmer okay so we get on right here we go first one literally just across from where I was just then not straightforward first one in the back lots of jackdaws about as I mentioned before, looks like they've uh, uh, fledged the nest. Still uh, have to food from the parents. And very naive. You can tell by this one. Normally, Corvids will just take off and start screaming and shouting, but this one's just sitting there wondering what's happened to Fred. So he gets one as well. And then it was just a matter of lingering around the fence, sort of hiding behind the uprights. They just weren't um, weren't that bothered. Probably didn't see me. So another one in the bag there. These ones are quite close. No problem there. The range finder is reading zero because I'm actually almost up against a pillar. Uh, on the right, so the range finder's hitting that. I ping that 30 yards. Down it goes. And as you can see, they're lingering a lot more than they normally do. A chance to take another one. Quite straightforward. Dead handy that range finder. There's a young one on the right, food from its parent on the left. So I'm wondering which one to take first. So I thought I'll take the adult in case the young one lingers, but he doesn't. Clearly not that, uh, not that naive. I'm leaning the gun on the uh, top of the fence, or the uh, metal fence in around the pens. Uh, that's why I put the leather bottle um, cover on. Just to stop scratching the bottle. Taking them off the wire. I'll just turn around looking behind me. There's a rook on the uh, top of the shed. 
4-2 on yards, which is zero. Nice and straightforward. Love the rapid. Doing what it's meant to do. And I'm, I'm now sneaking up at low level behind a fence and then just popping up because I saw these two wood pigeons and they didn't seem to see me. I managed to get one off before they did. Take that down. The other one flies away. Next one. You can just see the jack door. What that? If you look in the red circle, you'll see the pellet hit the top of the fence. <laughs> I'm literally stood on tiptoes. That's the uh, metal bar above the feed pens. I just couldn't sneak the barrel over it. The scope was, but the barrel wasn't. So now I line up for a second shot and linger too long. Away you go, just as I pull the trigger. So now it's time for a wonder. It's gone quiet in the sheds. So I'll go for a lumber through the yard. That's like the Bigfoot video, that. So here we are, one on the roof. 45 yards. Just a little bit of hold over. Down he goes, tumbling down the roof. Then I wanders round, and just as surprised as I was, was this jack uh, rook on the floor. I had to quickly take him, freehand, hence the wobble. Apologies for the um, crosshairs stop being recording. I turned off date stamp um, just to stop cluttering the screen, but apparently, since I've Googled it, turning off date stamp turns off the crosshairs, so I'll put that back on next time. Jack door on top of the straw, just to my left. And then crow on top of the uh, feed shed. Just thought he was going to take off then. He doesn't. He lingers and down he goes. So I'll go back up to the uh, pens. Because there's quite a bit of activity again up there. And lo and behold, another jackdaw. down the back and just to my right there's another one as you can see they're not too skitty by this time there's quite a few dead ones lying around because I'm not going in where the cows are and they just don't seem too bothered I'll take that one as well this jackdaw is only about 15-16 yards away I didn't bother focusing didn't have time. So that's me just pinging him. And then got the metal behind. Down he goes. And last but not least, the young feral pigeon. Wondering whether to fly off or not. Makes a mistake of lingering and drops to the ground in front of me and then there's about five or six take off from the rafters in that little shed so I'm just doing a quick check see if there's any more and then here's that one just fell in front of me just then dead in seconds okay nice productive morning for the farmer if you enjoyed that like, subscribe and share. And hopefully it won't be too long before I'm back out of the rapid again in the farmyard. And until then, bye for now.